We are at a brand new breast imaging center, a 3D breast imaging center here in Grand Rapids called QT Breast Health. And I'm with Christina Stalsenberg, and she's one of the technicians, going to be talking to us about how this is so good, especially for women who have dense breasts. Yes. Let's talk a little bit about this technology, what makes it so great. Well, it is new innovative Im imaging for women who have dense breasts because we're able to capture images all the way to the chest wall through the 3D imaging. It's through transmission ultrasound. And what's really great about this is that if you had a mammogram that comes back that might say that it has maybe seen something or looks a little susp suspicious, here you can see further into that, right? Yes, because it, it is acquired through 3D, actual true 3D images. Okay, and one of the things though, one of the downfalls is that it's, it's not always covered by insurance. That is true, not currently it is not. Something we're working on though, FDA has approved this device to a certain degree. It has been approved for commercial use. And we are working towards more clinical trials to uh, further that. Okay, as a technician, what is it that you like when you're seeing the images on the screen? The images come up in 3D format. They look like an actual MRI image, so you get uh, 3D planes, basically. I am actually registered in MRI, so I'm looking at MRI images that come up. And the other thing, too, is, is the table that you're on. It's curved. It looks like it feels a little bit more comfortable yes. than mammography. Yes. The new machine actually has the contour shape for the body, and we're able to uh, place the breast in, in the hole here, and we lower the, the machine down into a water, which this tub here contains the water. It has five transducers in it that never touch the body at all, and it will circle 360 degrees and takes the images starting from the chest wall all the way out through the breast, through the nipple, and it acquires an image every two millimeters. And so um, that is what is so great about this, the QT ultrasound is because we are able to get all the way, especially with women who have dense breast and breast implants, we get all the way to the chest wall. So we're getting that tissue that could have been missed through mammography. And I'm here now with Dottie Bollinger. You've used the QT breast scan, right? What's your opinion of it? I have. Um, I love the QT scan. I love the clarity of the images. And I am a woman who has a, a dense breast history and um, lots of repeat testing after a, a, you know, a normal mammogram, if you will. And so when I discovered the QT scan, I said, this is a better way for me. Because you don't want all the radiation, is that Correct. it? Correct. Mammography is not necessarily an effective way um, to view through dense breast tissue. Um, and if you are one of those women, you know that when you go for your annual mammogram, like me, you get called back. And so you actually have to have two mammograms a year, and then oftentimes I've had a lot of additional testing after that. So it, I'm concerned that I'm getting two doses of radiation each year, only to find out that my breasts are ultimately healthy. Um, when I came to know about the QT scan, um, I'm also a nurse. Um, I, when I saw the images myself, I was just blown away at the clarity um, that, that I could look at them not being a, a radiologist and, and I could see what, that my breasts were healthy. Um, and so I said, I'm gonna have the QT scan and, and that's what I've been doing now for my breast health and I'm, I'm feeling really good about it. And uh, is it comfortable? Is it more comfortable than getting a mammogram? It's very comfortable. In fact, um, I try hard not to fall asleep um, on the bed, but it's nice for a professional working woman to kind of have that break. So I don't mind if I would fall asleep, but it's very comfortable. But what gives me peace of mind is um, there's no radiation. And so I know that I'm not harming myself. It's completely safe and um, and it's you know re relaxing. Just look at the environment that we're in today. It's it's like coming to a spa. It's a relaxing part of my day as a professional. And here's some additional information about QT Breast Health. They were granted a $14 million grant from National Institutes of Health to find a way to reduce false positive scans on women with dead breasts without the radiation. And as you learned, they found it. Right now, QT breast scans are approved by the FDA to provide images of the breasts and are awaiting full FDA clearance, which is expected in the next year. If QT Breast Health gets that approval, it will be the first advancement in breast health imaging for women in more than 50 years. Incidentally, Grand Rapids is the only city in the Midwest offering breast health, these QT breast health scans. They are not covered by insurance. They do cost about $600. 
I've got more information on QT Breast Health for you, 13onyourside.com. And just a reminder, today is 13 Friends for Life Day. Time to remind your friend for life to know her normal.